and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are going to talk about a business that has renovated one of our historic landmarks in Hampton, the historic post office downtown, and is creating a lot of buzz. My guest is Kelsey Leeper. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. I think, you know, this is one of the things. We post a lot on social media about mm -hmm. businesses in Hampton and what's going on and things you can do. Mm -hmm. And, um, and when we posted the photos <laughs> of the renovation of the historic post office, people just went nuts. Yes. Like it is really a unique destination. Yes, that's something that we really value in our building is that it is historic, it has a story. And I think that's honestly why it's getting so much buzz is because there's nothing like it in Hampton or you know on the peninsula. So we're, we're super excited that we do have this unique charm to the building. So, it, just to back up a little bit for people who missed the earlier part of the story, mm -hmm. um, M2 Motion Pictures has bought the place, used it for a while as a studio, mm -hmm. and then didn't have that need as much because you were doing more um, on location and, and reality kinds of shows. Mm -hmm. So, you guys decided to renovate it mm -hmm. into a special occasion bridal, corporate rental, whatever kind mm -hmm. of party people want. Mm -hmm. How, and you just opened. I mean, yeah. this is really new. So yes. how has it gone so far? It has taken off quicker than we could have ever imagined. Um, so back when it was kind of just a dream, we thought maybe we would get 10 weddings and a few corporate events. Um, but we have 47 weddings in the book. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. And one that's happened. And one that has already happened and it was perfect. Um, and so we really have just taken off and it's been amazing. So the renovations are nearly complete. We thought that they would be done already, but they were, as renovations go, they it are. It always takes longer. Always, and costs more always. Than you think it's going yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's something I've learned during and this building process. Building that old, you're discovering yes, things that definitely. Uh, you didn't necessarily expect. Definitely. So um, we're excited for the building to be done and for our wedding season to officially kick off. We have our next wedding in February. And so we're looking forward to that. Well, one of the things, you know, they say about millennials, and I don't like to stereotype anybody mm -hmm. in particular, but but as a, as a generational change, people are looking for something authentic, mm -hmm. something distinctive, something that isn't cookie cutter. Yes. And I think, you know, that's, that's true of, you know, there's a, a big trend in um, using vineyards, for example, yes. around Charlottesville, mm -hmm. or destination kind of places that, mm -hmm. that are unique and that are going to hold a real special feeling and memory. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing that in, in people who are booking? Yeah. So we actually just did a bridal show this past Sunday, and people came up to our booth and started crying. It was crazy because they were like, you don't understand how long we've been searching for some place to have our special day that is just different. Um, and so really that's, that's a huge perk. And it's got a story. We actually call it the historic post office, which has its pros and cons. I still right. get people walking up to the door with packages and stuff. So <laughs> that's a little crazy, but um, you know, it, it, is, it is great. So. Well, um I think too, people want some place, you know, with with character. Yes. But yet, Hampton, not just Hampton, all of Hampton Roads is a really old place, mm -hmm. okay? When the, you know, we were Native Americans lived here for mm -hmm. years and years when the first colonial settlers came, you know, this is where they landed. Yeah. But in years and years of renovations and redevelopment, a lot of those buildings are gone. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have. Hampton, of course, is burned twice, mm -hmm. so, so there's very little left yeah. um, from the earliest days. And a lot of those early structures weren't great anyway, but, but to find, um, you would think that this would be a little more common than it is. Mm -hmm. It's not. No, it's really not. And we have some original pieces of the building still intact. Of course, we have, you know, kind of gutted it and renovated it, but the old vault is still in there. Um, some of the original beams, we have some of the original hardwood floor. So those kind of characteristics really add to the building. And it's funny because we actually have um, some people coming in that worked at the post office and they just wanna see the building mm -hmm. and they can go around and tell me all about it. I mean, my office now used to be, I guess, the postmaster's office. And so hearing all these stories and things like that, it's just been really cool to learn about the building and the history of Hampton. 
So who, um, where are people coming from to, to get married here? They're coming from everywhere. We have actually a lot of out-of-town brides from out of the state even, whose parents still live here, so this is where they want to get married. Um, a lot of local Hampton residents, which we're very excited about. Um, getting a lot of Southside brides, which we, which was unexpected because of that pesky tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, and all over the peninsula in Williamsburg. So a lot of local, but like I said, we've been really lucky to have people even from out of state just seeing pictures and they already love it, so. Well, and I think what is cool is it helps Hampton be discovered mm -hmm. by new people. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when people get married in a place, mm -hmm. it remains a special place. So mm -hmm. not just the post office, but all of downtown, yes. all of Hampton, a place they're going to come back to yeah. because it has great memories. And then they can discover the wonderful restaurants we have downtown, mm -hmm. the entertainment. There's so much live music. There's so much to do in Hampton. And, and, but there has to be a draw to pull those people over from Virginia Beach mm -hmm. or down from Maryland or you know wherever it is they're coming from. Yeah, definitely. And that's something near and dear to our hearts is that we do represent downtown Hampton, not just the post office, but as a whole. So well, you've got a motel, almost, I mean, a nice hotel uh -huh. almost right across the right street. Right across the street. How convenient is that? That is awesome. They could have their um, rehearsal dinner there, you know, so that's a huge perk. And then we've been working with Embassy Suites as well, and they offer a shuttle. So it's really, things are coming together. Um, I mean, we have this stationary shop right next door to us that we've built a great relationship oh, with. Oh, invitations, yes. thank yous, mm -hmm. monograms, of course. Mm -hmm. Glazed donuts right across the street, which is not only convenient for me, but... <laughs> Um, for anybody that might want donuts in lieu of a wedding cake or if they need something for a corporate event, uh, baby shower, things like that. So we want to um, bring as much prosperity to downtown Hampton and to Hampton as a whole. And that's something that's really close to us. And so we hope to do that for our local residents and vendors. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And now, while brides might be your big weekend business, yes. you are looking to expand during the week as well, yes. right? Yes. We would love to fill that building every day of the week. Um, I'm there anyways, so <laughs> it would be wonderful to have celebrations, not only on the weekends, but during the week as well. So birthday parties on the week, um, baby showers, anything, any kind of celebration that could be done during the week, we would love to host it. Okay, and now the other thing is you, you mentioned some of the other downtown businesses, but mm -hmm. you have also, I would assume, uh, a lovely list of caterers, mm -hmm. florists, um, you know, all of the, some people who haven't done a wedding recently or haven't been to one, forget about all the businesses mm -hmm. <laughs> that, it takes. that you depend on and yeah. that network of folks who mm -hmm. um, can help stage the right event. Yeah, it really takes a village to run the building. And we have some amazing preferred vendors on our list that have helped us out enormously. They've been in the building. They know how to run it. And so that's kind of our, um, I guess, direction to folks who bu bu uh, book the building. We say these are some fabulous people. They know the building, everything. And so those people have really helped us out. They've given us a lot of buzz, social media shout outs. And so we're very thankful for all those talented vendors that we do have on that list. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I missed your grand opening, yes. so I can't wait to yes. see what it looks like. You have like. to come, definitely. Um, what is the way that people can get more information or get in contact with you if they're interested in um, touring or booking, um, considering you for, for an event? Yes. So we, um, I don't know if the last time I came on here, if we had a blog yet, but we do blog all of our events. And so our most recent wedding is on our blog. So www dot the historic post office dot com and there you can find our blog um, also emailing me is the best way to get in touch so um, k leaper at the historic post office dot com okay and I'm gonna say you know even though I, I will say I talked about millennials and mm -hmm. you think of uh, a wedding always as being two young people beginning yeah. their lives together uh -huh. <laughs> there's a whole lot of people yeah. who begin relationships at different stages.